So some of you already know that I have created a program called Easy Game Utility, but there's a lot of you that don't know about this program. So I thought I'd do an update on the program, what new features I've added, and let's just take a look at what else I plan on adding. So here it is, this is what the program now looks like. So it's quite a big change from what it used to look like. It looked very old and, well, just really classic. It just looked like a Windows 95 program, I thought. So straight away, I have changed the look. I've changed the GUI, and I really like how it looks now. Obviously, there's going to be a few changes that I want to do to it still, but it looks pretty decent. So straight away, I'm on a pro version. So I have now added a pro version to Easy Gamer Utility, which will give you more features than the free version. So at the moment, I'm on the clean tab. So here you can clean cache files for your game launchers. And if you scroll down, you can also clear cache files for your graphics card. You can see we've got Nvidia, AMD and Intel there. And currently it's got like two options there for AMD and Nvidia. That's because I do have an AMD and Nvidia graphics card on this computer. So if I then go across to files, you can see here we have a load more different options. So we've got obviously here we've got a few games that EGU currently supports. You can then click onto one of these games. So let's say I've got Battlefield 2042. I can then click on the save data and at the moment it can't find any. And that's because the game won't have any save data as it's an online game. But if I click on config files, you can see it's taken me to the location of the config files for Battlefield 2042. So that's the same for all these games, any games that you have on your computer, you would then be able to locate the mod files or config files. If we then scroll down, you then have the clean game files option. So this is actually a pro feature. And what you can do is select a game. So let's say Battlefield 2042, you can then either click on analyze or clean. So the clean is the pro feature, analyze you can just do for free. You can click on analyze and EGU is going to scan the computer and find files for Battlefield 2042 that it can clear, which won't cause any issues with the game. So you can see here, there's a massive list of temporary files that I can remove for the game. And we just got like, obviously you've got like crash dump files and things like that. I've just noticed that the text is black, so I need to change that to white. So basically I can then go close and I would then be able to click on clean chunk files and it's then going to remove those files. If we then go across to drivers, you can then remove old driver files for your Nvidia and AMD graphics card I do want to add Intel later on as well. So at the moment, we don't have an option for Intel. If we then go across to network, we've got loads of different options here. So at the top, we can clear DNS cache, we can change local IP, we can reset the network adapter. We then have some pro features here. We can check a game server status. So we can put in a game server IP, we can then click on check, and it will tell us if the server is currently online. It will tell us the connection and it will also tell us what ping we get. You can then also type in the process ID. So in Windows Task Manager, you can find out the process ID for a game. You can then type that ID in and it will then tell you all the servers that that game is currently connected to and currently using. So it'll give you all the connection information. You can then take the IPs and you can put them into this box and see how good the connection is from your computer. We can then go across to launch. And here again, we have a lot of different options. So first you've got browse so we can locate a game on our computer that we want to add. We can then change the priority for that game. So standard, a game will launch in normal. We can change it to above normal with this option here, or we can go to high. High is a pro feature. So if you want to change the process to high, then you will need to purchase the pro version, which is currently on offer and it's $2.99. So it's definitely worth checking out. That is for 12 months though, and we also have a lifetime option. So if we then scroll down a bit more, we then have a few more options here. So we can force a game high priority. So basically some games won't allow you to change it to a high priority. And this is because it might have an easy anti cheat or something else blocking it. So we can select a game here and then go force priority. 
but obviously I've got there's a little bit of a warning here saying that if you were to get banned from the game then obviously that's set your own risk so obviously do this option at your own risk as there's sometimes a reason why a game might be blocking it but you can use this option basically to override it and run any game in high priority so if we then go across to fix this is a new tab, a new area, which I'm currently working on. So at the moment it has Roblox. So on the free version of EGU, you can have free attempts. On the pro version, it's unlimited. And basically what this option's gonna do is attempt to fix Roblox. All you need to do is click on the button. It's then going to run through a few different troubleshooting methods and then resolve hopefully what's causing Roblox to not work on your computer. And as you can see, it's now launched Roblox. I am going to add more games here and then eventually the plan is I'm going to have an option where you can basically just run a fix on any game on your computer. That's the plan anyway. So that pretty much brings me to the end of Easy Gamer utility at the moment. That's all the features that are currently there. Like I said, I've got many ideas for more features to come in the future. You can check out a roadmap on our website if you do want to see what other feature ideas I have. And if you do want to help support Easy Game Utility, then by purchasing the Pro version really does help. At the moment, like I said, it's on a special offer for $2.99 for the 12 month version. So definitely go ahead and check that out if you're interested. If you did like this video, then click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.